Well, let's talk about console.log driven development. It's something that we all do. So instead of fighting it, let's upgrade it with storybook actions. Let's dive in. Storybook actions, as I will show them today, are a feature of Storybook 6 and 7. But there's an active proposal to make them work a little bit more like conventional testing mocks. This would be a welcome change in my opinion, but because we know that change is on the horizon, I want to focus on just the practices that won't change and the execution that will easily migrate via code mods in the future. In a fresh Storybook 7 installation, we see two components set up to use actions. The included button story will will log actions every time it's clicked. Logs can in turn be expanded to show full event details. The heading story also logs events, but in this case, custom events. So if we hit log in, we see the on login event, which is an on click under the hood. And on sign up, we see a on create account event also on click. Actions pair perfectly with storybook interactions. Interactions are a way to document component states through simulated user input using testing library. These interactions trigger their corresponding actions. So that's the overview of how storybook actions work. Let's actually define some actions inside of this button storybook component. Open the stories file we want to add actions to, add an args type property if one doesn't exist, and in it add a property for on click. The arg type that we want to use here is action, and we can log whatever text we want when this action fires. When it was clicked right here, so we should say clicked every time we tap this button. And we do. By default, it's logging out the underlying event, which is an on click event. And we can see all of the details of that event inside. Now that we have a button set up for our component, let's add some interactions to see how actions and interactions interplay. Create a new story or find one that you'd like to add interactions to. Add a play function to that storybook object. This one finds our button inside of our canvas element and simulates a user event click action on it. Hit save and we'll see that simulated click appear in our interactions tab, further evidenced by this clicked styling. Now, because this is an action that happened on the button, we'll also see this action logged inside of our actions panel where we can continue to trigger it as many times as we like. So that's everything that you need to know about storybook actions. We're just taking console log driven development and upgrading it in such a way that you don't have to litter your component code with these log statements in order to test it and see the events that are getting logged out. Now, we also touched on the topic of interaction testing, which is a really powerful concept inside of Storybook. So if you have questions about that, I suggest you check out one of these videos right here. That's it for today. I'm Chantastic. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.